well, wait, three weeks ago you stood in front of the camera after a 5 nil at Boreham Wood. Tonight, Boreham Wood again, but very different result. You must be delighted. Yeah, absolutely di delighted to be in front of the camera on a night when we've won. That's for sure, Tony. Um, but I, I thought we played really well tonight. Um, I thought our passing and our movement and our interplay in the first half was really slick. thought we did well, perhaps without carving open lots of clear-cut opportunities, but I thought we definitely bossed the game, we looked sharp and up for the game. Some people will say maybe we caught Boreham Wood on the right night after bailing out the FA Trophy on Saturday for them, but I, I thought we did, we did really well, some good performances, we saw the game out. Second half and massive three points, really. Slight concern as the half hour sort of came on when we we played so well and hadn't scored. Uh, well, there always is when you haven't scored, but um, yeah, the goal just was the icing on that one, wasn't it? First half, but you're always looking, thinking perhaps our first half performance maybe warranted a two goal lead, and it, it could so easily have been you know one all, but for you know the terrific goalkeeping from Will, we had pretty much nothing to do. And he's called on one v one right at the end and, and we could have come in at 1-1 and I think we would have reflected on that as um, being a missed opportunity. Would have completely changed the team talk I guess if that had totally. gone in. Yeah, totally. Uh, but we, we still, to be fair, we said, you know, it's 1-0. Um, they obviously, you know, got into their players at half-time. Um, saw a bit of a reaction from them. But I, I thought all in all, you know, we saw the game out quite well second half. Probably a little bit of tiredness from the last few weeks showed itself a little bit in the second half, uh, made a few changes. I thought generally we, we, we were well worthy winners tonight. And people said about the link up between Biamo and Coombs on uh, Saturday and shown a shown good effect with the goal tonight. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I, I didn't see that live, but I watched it on the video and I thought, blimey, you know, it looks two centre forwards there in tandem with each other. I thought the, some of their play and joining up was really good. We looked as though we had two centre forwards in the right place. At the right time, as Conf it were. confident so, finish as well from Max. Excellent finish from Max. Yeah, I mean it's nice to see him. He's often played where he's been the sort of first first port of call as the striker, and got another one around him. But it is almost those two can do a bit of both, can't they? You know, one can one can show and one can go in behind and one can get flicks. And he he got on the end of that and finished it really well tonight. Get Kevin and Mankel back in the squad tonight. It's not important because Dean Beckwith was missing. Yeah, D Dean, Dean just felt a little bit of a strain in his hamstring. I, I think he'd be absolutely fine for Saturday. Uh, Kevin just had a little bit of a rest on Saturday and came in. I thought Kevin particularly, first half, took the game to their wide player um, in a way that we weren't able to do at their ground. But, you know, he kept running in backwards and I thought Kevin was excellent first half, set the tempo. You know, amongst a lot of others in our play going forward. And you mentioned the goalkeeper, but good to have a, an experienced keeper coming in to replace Ross and did what he had to at the end of the first half. Yeah, it's excellent. I think it was important that we, we got that sorted out straight away. And I know Doz and Ian did that on their way home from um, Torquay. So that was pretty much done early. But yeah, it's a, it's a great signing. I think I actually saw him play watching Wimbledon and Bristol Rovers this year. I couldn't quite believe it when I, I saw and heard that, you know, we were getting in for a moment because. That's a great acquisition. Yeah. And one other absentee tonight, Adam May, just rested. Yeah. Adam May had a game last night for um, Portsmouth uh, under whatever, um, so it wouldn't have been right to involve him tonight. So he'll be back in the front. Mm -hmm. um, we've pretty much got a full bill of health, haven't we? I think, I think Simon Downer might be suspended. Yeah, Simon's suspended. Absolutely. Exactly. Um, yeah. But a long, long trip north yeah. on Saturday, but going go in good heart. Yeah, yeah. If, you know, I said earlier that perhaps we played. Um, Boreham Wood at a good time. It looks as though Barrow are having a bit of a difficult time. I don't know how they got on tonight. Did they play time? They were, they were behind at half time. Yeah, so, you know, you never know. It's a long trip, isn't it? But um, Going up the day I before. I believe Paul, yeah, wants to do it like we did at Torquay. He felt that that was important to do that and showed a bit more freshness rather than, than travelling on the Saturday. So that should be good. And, uh, you know, another we're looking for another positive result on Saturday. Brilliant. Thanks, Mickey, very much. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers.